In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure API caching for BuddyBoss app. API caching is going to substantially improve the performance of your app, so I highly recommend that you enable this feature. The feature is a bit technical, so I'll do my best to explain it in a clear way. First, I will show you the backend options, and then I'll explain to you technically what is actually happening. To get started, head over to BuddyBoss app components. In here, we can see a component called API performance. Let's go ahead and enable this component. When you first activate this component, it should install a plugin automatically into your must use plugins directory. So I'll show you that. Let's go into plugins and let's click on must use. And we can see this plugin was added called BuddyBoss API caching. This plugin is required. If this plugin is not installed, the API caching will not work. This plugin allows us to load the caching code before the rest of the regular WordPress plugins have loaded, which has a noticeable performance benefit. In most cases, this plugin should be installed automatically. The one scenario where this plugin may not be installed automatically is if your server's file permissions don't allow for it. If that's the case, you should see a notice in your WordPress admin telling you to install the plugin manually. That notice will include a link to download the plugin. From there, you can install it manually through FTP or ask your web host to install it for you into the WP Content MU Plugins directory. Once the plugin has been installed successfully, then you'll want to head over to BuddyBoss app settings, and you will see these two menus for API caching and API CDN, which are coming from the API performance component. This API CDN feature will also provide a performance improvement in your app. This feature allows you to route your media assets, such as images, documents, and videos through a content delivery network when that media is being requested by the APIs that are used in the app. Note that I have another tutorial explaining how to configure the API CDN. So make sure to watch that tutorial as well if you're interested. For this video, we'll be focusing on this API caching feature. So let's go ahead and click on API caching. And from here, you can enable API caching for all of the features that are listed on this page. You can simply check the boxes for every cache you want to enable. I would recommend enabling everything and then all of your app pages and blog posts, as well as your social content and your LearnDash courses will all start to get cached. And if the cache ever gets stale for some reason, you can always click on Purge Cache to purge the cache for this specific content, or you can click Purge All to purge the cache for all of the related content. This will erase that feature's cache so it can regenerate fresh. So let me explain to you how this actually works. Behind the scenes, your WordPress site is connected to a database, and this database is storing all of the data for your website, including data related to settings, pages and posts, and user-generated content. The BuddyBoss app is constantly communicating with your WordPress database, pushing and pulling data to it through APIs. If content in your WordPress site is updated, the app will need to pull this updated content from your database using APIs. And if you add new content into the app, then the app will need to push these updates back to your WordPress site through the APIs as well. As an example, if I were to go to this members directory in the app, in order to view the list of all of the members, the app will need to send an API request to WordPress to ask for all of that member data. It needs to know the names of all the members, the avatars of the members, whether or not I am connected to the members, and other related data. It will take some time for WordPress to scan through the database and find all of this information to then send through the API back to the app. And if I come back to the members directory in the app later, WordPress will then need to find all of this information all over again. And this is the case for everyone else in your app as well. By using API caching, when I first view that members directory in the app, WordPress will still need to assemble all of the data on my first visit, but then on subsequent visits, the API is going to bypass WordPress and go straight to the cache. The cache will have a pre-made response for all of the information needed for that API request. It has the entire result ready for me in advance. This means that for any data that is cached, the API response can be produced in just a fraction of a second. And if you have a lot of users, the total amount of database requests to your server is going to be dramatically reduced as some large portion of the visits will be using cached data. Part of what makes all of this challenging to implement is that on a social platform, what I see is usually going to be different from what you see. For example, when I go to my message inbox, I see different messages than you see. And when I go into my notifications, I see different notifications than you see. And this is the case for nearly all of the content in the app. So we've built this really powerful API caching system. There are really two challenges to solve when it comes to caching. One is that we want content to never go stale. As an example, if I receive a new message, we need that message to appear in my messages inbox. And also, as I mentioned, my inbox is going to be different from yours. 
So we can't just have one messages cache. We need a unique cache for each member, which is how our cache works. Meaning when I look at my message inbox, it creates a cache that is tied to my user specifically. But it won't create a cache for you until you've logged in and viewed your own message inbox. And we've also built in all of the events that could cause the cache to go stale and set it to automatically purge the cache when those events are triggered. For example, if I receive a new message, this will automatically purge my messages cache. And then the next time I view my messages, it's going to take a moment to find all of the new message data. But then if I don't receive any new messages for a while and I keep visiting my inbox, all of those repeat views will be from the updated cache. So when you enable API caching, at first the app won't actually feel any faster, but as you start using the app and viewing content, more and more of that content will get added into the cache and the app will become increasingly faster over time. So that's how this works. This caching system is very powerful and works out of the box for BuddyBoss platform and LearnDash content. One thing you do need to be aware of is that if you have data that interacts with our APIs, either from third-party plugins or custom code, that content may become stale on subsequent visits in the app. We cannot know in advance which events related to your custom code are supposed to purge the cache, so you'll need to add those events yourself using custom code to tell the cache when it needs to regenerate. The cache is being stored in a specific table in your WordPress database, and through code you can interact with the data in that table. Note that we have developer documentation explaining how to do this, so make sure to check that out. And of course, you can always disable the cache for specific features if your plugin or code is not working properly with the cache. For those of you using BuddyBoss platform, you might be wondering if this will work in your website as well. The answer is that it's coming later in the year and is being worked on actively in the background. The main challenge is that your website is not actually using APIs. It's using WordPress functions to get data. So we are updating the templating system in BuddyBoss platform to be able to optionally use APIs. Once that project is done, the caching system will automatically work for those API requests on the web. We know you all care about performance and we do too. That's why we've taken the time to build features like this into the core product. We want as many of you as possible to take advantage of these technologies so you can have the best experience possible for your members.